Alright, what's going on guys? Uh, in this video I want to talk about common pain that runners often have. And that is like right here, uh, it's like pulling on the top of your kneecap kind of pain. Um, and you'll notice this especially if you're trying to do squats or go down at all like that, you'll, you'll just feel it pulling on your kneecap right there. Really common injury that um, I am actually, I currently have this kind of bother me right now. I got mine from squatting, deep squatting, uh, before the Beijing Olympics, and here we are, you know, that was 2008, here we are in 2020, and it's still bothering me. Um, but it's one that it's easy to fix it with a foam roller. I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to hit it. One is with a foam roller, the other one is to have someone manually working on it, and it doesn't have to be, you know, gotta like go see someone, it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy work. So I'm gonna show you later on in this video how someone, your husband, your wife, um, your kids can work on you and relieve that knee pain that you're feeling on the top of your, uh, your pulling on your patella tendon. So we're gonna show you how to how to get that knee pain gone. So what you can do, foam roller. If you don't have foam roller, use a rolling pin. Anything that's hard and is round is gonna work for you. So uh, you're gonna come right in here. And actually, I'm gonna go this way so you guys can see better. So you're gonna start at the top of your quad and you're just gonna roll down. And as you're rolling down, you're gonna slowly bring your heel towards your butt. And then you're just gonna kind of work it as you get down towards the bottom. You're basically, you're doing active release technique. You've had ART before. This is what essentially they're doing on you. And I can feel it, it's kind of like clicking over my patella right now as I'm going back and forth. And I'm just holding it. I'm kind of changing the angle from inside to outside of um, the force that I'm putting on the top of that quad. And yeah, I'm feeling it clicking pretty, pretty uh, strong click in there. And I'm just finding different kind of tight spots in that quad and working my heel back and forth towards my butt. And so if you just, you're just on the roller for, you do this for 10 to 15 minutes, just kind of hitting your entire quad, not just the area right above. So I can feel like all these different tight spots in my quad. quad. And so you want to try and just work all those out. And just slowly find those places where it's the most painful and hang out there. Just do a bunch of back and forth motion. You're going to break up that scar tissue, um, areas of adhesion in your muscle that are keeping it from moving how it should be moving. And you'll notice the difference right away. So this is a good thing to do if you're having that knee pain um, right before you run, right before you head out the door. This is a good thing to do right before. So again, just make sure you, you're hitting all the different angles. What you can do too to make sure you're, it's actually working is check. And I do this all the time with ART. So they'll have you do a movement where you feel it, where you feel restriction. So for me, it's a squat, and that's a good one to check on this one. So I can still feel it a little bit there, but it feels way, way better than it felt. You guys saw me doing that, it was like two minutes of rolling. And already I'm like, whoa, yeah, that feels way better. It's not quite all the way there, so I'm gonna go back on it. Do the same thing on those tight areas, back and forth on it. So this could be one of those things, guys, where if you don't do anything for this, you could be out of running for a really long time. Like, like this is not something where it's gonna magically get better with rest. Um, this is something where you gotta stay on top of managing it. And I think that's the thing with most injuries is you gotta be proactive with them. Like you can't just take time off and wait for it to get better with most things. I mean, obviously things like stress reactions, there are certain injuries where you just need to stay off it and there's not a lot you can do in terms of therapy and self-treatment to make it better. But this is one of those things where I could take a month off for this, come back and it's still hurting me or I can hop on this roller for five minutes before I go run and I'm good. And all of a sudden I'm not injured, I can train normally. 
but it means the next morning it's probably gonna wake up and be a little bit flared up from a hard run or hard workout and I might have to do this every single morning before I run so just something when we look at injuries oftentimes there's little tricks like this you can do to be able to train through things that you know you could take a month off for and have it not get better all right so just did another couple minutes on there I'm gonna test it again see how it feels yeah like I, I couldn't get in this position two minutes ago I'm still feeling it a little bit towards the bottom but to right here I'm not feeling anything nothing I feel a little bit right there it's pulling a little bit right there and uh, give me another 10 15 minutes and I won't be feeling it at all but I'm happy just to be able to do that and not feel any pain so really quick fix for that all right guys so uh, the other way to manually uh, hit this with a partner and like I said it doesn't have to be like the therapist this is pretty like straightforward simple stuff um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna straighten your leg you're gonna be on the table which I'm not telling you these magnificent legs these are right now but yes behold the beauty <laughs> all right anyways um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on the inside and I'm just gonna work my way outside so my first stroke I'm just gonna start here and then I'm gonna go up the quad starting with that inner quad and starting right at the top of that kneecap where you're, you're connecting right there so I'm gonna go as I go up I am bringing the heel down and if you get ART this is exactly how it'll work on it and so the person here I'm using my thumb and pressing pretty hard in there <laughs> Magnificent quad person. <laughs> Feel on there right now. So starting right above it, I'm just bringing their leg. <laughs> this person doesn't even have a knee issue, but they're gonna be feeling good off. <laughs> you don't need to go super high in the quad, but if they have knots in there, you can. You can go all the way up to the top if you want. But again, have them do this for a little bit, then have them get off the table, try to squat, go down, see how it's feeling, and they should be feeling a pretty good difference. Oh yeah, definitely use some Vaseline lotion, uh, oil works, anything to loop it up just so you're not pulling the heck out of their hairs on there. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. Just pushing hard with your thumb, going up bring this back down that's really gonna take the pressure off that kneecap so one thing I want to talk about with the with the pain on the kneecap here is the reason I mentioned how I got that from squatting and deep squatting uh, before the Beijing Olympics so that's one reason why I don't prescribe deep squatting for runners is because that can very much become an issue for runners who are already tight you get in that deep squat position and there's a number of bad things that can happen but one of them is you can hurt yourself as I did um, on that patella tendon there so um, you don't have to be afraid of the squatting we prescribe you're not gonna get this from half squatting you got to be in a deep squat to get that kind of pain on that note um, if you are having patella pain here and you haven't been able to work it out how I showed you guys and it is bothering you when you're squatting then just don't squat when you're until this issue is resolved but uh, if you do this kind of rolling or have someone else work on it before you squat it should clear it up and you should be fine to squat even if afterwards you're like yeah I'm kind of feeling it again just roll it again like keep hitting it as often as you need to to get the pain gone and, and resolve the issue um, but you don't gotta be afraid to go ahead and squat on it just as long as you're not feeling it while you're squatting let pain be your guide as we often like to do with any injuries is if it's hurting don't do it if it's not hurting then feel free to proceed